Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing the YouTube beauty community tag. Jessica Braun came up with it. I'll link her video down below. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, you really should. She's another beauty YouTuber. I think she's just great. She's really sweet and honest and just kind of laid back. She also does vlogs with her husband. I just really enjoy watching her videos. So she came up with all these questions and I just got really excited to film it and share my opinions with you guys as well. Um, so like I said, I'll link that down below and I'll also leave all the questions listed in the description box. So if you guys want to do this video, go ahead, you know, leave a comment, let me know, and I'll go check out yours as well. So the first question is, what are your favorite videos to watch? Honestly, my favorite videos to watch are like, you know, makeup reviews or tutorials. I even like first impressions. I know that's kind of controversial because some people just don't like them. I mean, but I'm aware that it's someone's first time trying out a product and you're not really going to know if you truly love a product until you've tried it multiple times. So for me, I always also film an updated version, but I just enjoy watching the first impressions as well. I also love vlogs. I just think those are really entertaining, like lifestyle vlogs and motivational videos, like sit down coffee chit chats, like about lifestyle advice, things like that. Vlogs where they're doing, you know, how to be healthier, how to become a morning person, you know, just things like that. I just enjoy those videos. I think they're really great to watch. Question number two is what are your favorite videos to film? So my favorite videos to film are kind of like these videos. I love sit down chit chatty videos. I love the tag videos. I think it's really cool because it's like a general Q&A for everybody to do. I love hearing what other people have to say and I like sharing my opinions with you guys and letting you guys just kind of get to know me a little bit better. I also love doing vlogs and I want to make it a bigger priority to do more vlogs in 2018. They're kind of more complicated videos to make because there's so many different parts to them and it takes a lot more editing but I have a lot of fun doing them honestly. I obviously love doing my makeup with you guys, doing like chatty get ready with me videos. <laughs> Apparently I just really like to talk and honestly first meet someone I feel like I'm a little bit awkward but once you get to know me I pretty much never shut up honestly. <laughs> You know, when I purchase new makeup, I just can't wait to share it with you guys. So I do like making my first impression videos. Sometimes I get so excited about how well a product actually turned out because I was looking forward to trying it so bad. So I love sharing that with you guys. Even if it didn't work out well for me, I mean, and I'm disappointed in what I got, I like sharing it with you. Pretty much I like sharing the good and the bad with you guys. So, yeah. Question number three are, what are your least favorite videos to watch? Before I tell you what videos I don't like, I just want to let you guys know, like, please don't get offended if I don't like a video that you love or that you love to film. I'm not trying to offend anybody. It's just personal preference. Everybody likes what they like. So yeah, anyways, the videos that I don't really care for are like hauls. Unless it's like a try-on haul, I don't really enjoy watching those videos because whenever I watch someone unbox things, I just so badly want to see them try it out. I want to see it swatched. I want to see what they thought of it, you know, so I prefer the first impressions overhauls. And I don't really like declutter videos for kind of the same reason. I just kind of find them boring and they're not something that I like watching. I prefer the trying on makeup and tutorials and vlogs and things like that. One of the biggest videos that I don't like watching, which oh, I just like, I hate to bring it up on my channel because honestly I feel like I've been really lucky to not have a lot of negativity on my channel and I don't want to draw any more negativity to my channel. I do not like those kind of like hater videos. I really don't know how to explain that. Like I don't like the trash talking, gossip, I don't know, whatever the tea videos are or whatever. I don't like those videos where there's people gossiping about other beauty YouTubers or any YouTuber for that matter. I just I'm just not a negative, hateful person. I don't like to bring someone else down. If I'm watching videos and I don't like someone's video, I just don't watch it. I don't comment on it. I mean, there's a way for constructive criticism to personally talk to somebody. If you think you could give them a helpful tip on how to make their videos better, that's one thing. But I really don't like those insulting videos where they're attacking someone else. Like, I just don't see the need to do that. I don't understand why people do that. I am extremely against bullying. I feel like it's already hard enough for people to learn how to love themselves and be comfortable in their own skin. I just don't see why you feel the need to tear other people down and make it even harder for them. I'm just not that type of person, so you know, I don't watch them. I don't give them any attention. I just don't like it. 
I just like to be more positive and stay supportive of other people. I am, you know, encourage people to love themselves and be happy and be comfortable being who they are and do what they love. So, okay, so question number four is what is your favorite part of the beauty community? I love meeting new people that I can really connect with and have a conversation and be passionate about the same things. And I feel like I find people who understand me and build relationships. I just, you know, I feel like we kind of inspire each other to be ourselves and show our uniqueness and just, you know, love what we love and share it with other people who love it as well, you know? Like, it's so hard sometimes to meet people in person and, you know, not be awkward about it or feel uncomfortable or feel like you need to be something that you're not. There's millions of people out there who are going to love you for you and enjoy the same things that you do. So I just think that's really nice. So question number five is what is your least favorite part of the beauty community? So I thought about this for a while because it took me some time to kind of figure out what I really didn't like about it. And to be honest, it kind of ties into what I said earlier. I don't like it when bigger YouTubers or even smaller ones will give all this negativity like a lot of attention. I feel like honestly when girls do that, they kind of scare off people who want to start a channel. I feel like the biggest deal about starting a channel is feeling confident in yourself and getting the nerve to do this. I feel like it is really hard to put yourself out there. I know even with myself, it was one of the hardest parts, like when it was first brought to my attention that I should start a YouTube channel, I kind of laughed about it, like I don't think I could ever do that. And in the back of my mind, that's what I kept thinking about, was all of these negative comments that these girls were getting and how they were getting torn down by people that were hating on them. And it was just really sad that I felt that way, you know, I was scared to start a channel because of it. And I'd rather focus on the positive end of it and I want people to feel encouraged to do this and to just enjoy it because this is supposed to be fun, you know? It's supposed to be a happy thing to do. It's supposed to be for people to enjoy. So, yeah, that's probably the one thing that I would change about it. Okay, so question number six is what motivated you to start your channel? Honestly, other YouTubers motivated me to start my channel. I've been watching videos for about four or five years now, like really watching it and getting into it, and I just felt so connected to some of these people, and I really just wanted to interact with them. I really wanted to just be a part of the beauty community as well and feel that connection that they were feeling with other people. I thought it was just so amazing, and then... I just felt like we were so passionate about the same things and that was such a good feeling. Honestly, I would go out shopping for makeup and stuff and I would come home and I would get so excited about it and I would tell my other half or I'd tell my best friends and they just like obviously weren't into beauty the way that I was and it was kind of hard. Like they would try to be so nice and supportive and listen to what I had to say and try to get into it with me, but it just wasn't the same thing. And whenever I was talking to them about my YouTube videos or they saw me watching them and I was talking about all these other YouTubers, they were just like, why don't you start your own channel? Like, you are passionate about the same things that they are. Why don't you get on there and you show your personality and you interact with them and get in on the community and find other people to connect with, you know? And I really appreciated that because I needed the support and I thought it was so awesome that, you know, they thought that I would be good at this and they thought it was something that I would love and they were completely right. I mean, you know, the people who suggested it to me, you know, their opinions really mattered to me and it made me feel good that they thought that I could do this and, and I'm really glad that I did finally start my own channel because I feel like I have started to get what I wanted to get out of it. Like, I've loved meeting you guys and, and thank you so much. For those of you who have been watching my videos or who have subscribed to my channel, who have been interacting with me, I love it. Thank you again. Like, it just means so much to me, you guys, seriously. It makes me really happy and I really look forward to talking to you guys. Okay, so number seven is who inspires you most on YouTube. Honestly, there's been so many YouTubers who have inspired me. I'd hate to name names because I feel like I'd be excluding so many, but you guys can tell from my subscribe list and stuff. But what really inspired me this year was all of those YouTubers who made these videos about them watching their old videos. That made a big difference for me because when I used to watch their videos, I thought, oh my gosh, how can I ever do this? How could I ever be as good as them? You know, the quality of their videos is just perfect. They're amazing. They're so comfortable on the camera. And it always felt a little bit intimidating to me. And I worried about it way too much and about being perfect. And they went back and watched their old videos and I absolutely loved that because it really 
made me comfortable with where I'm at just starting out you know they started from the bottom and they worked their way up and it wasn't perfect you know also another thing that they did was they started making videos on the real like technical parts of it I've really gotten into like the behind the scenes process of all of this honestly I did not think that I'd like it but I've been watching so many videos on you know the technical parts of it like how to edit how to film what equipment I should have how to work with the equipment that I've got all the different settings like I really enjoyed that I didn't think that I would but it was great that they shared that with me because I felt more knowledgeable about it I I did a lot of research before starting my channel and I still continue to do research all the time to try to better my channel so I just really appreciate that. I feel like I've skipped questions here for some reason. Okay so number nine is what is your advice for other creators or new people starting out a channel? I guess my advice for people just starting out is just do it. Don't worry about it being perfect. It's not going to be right away. It takes time to get comfortable in front of the camera. You don't need to have all this fancy equipment to start your channel. There's plenty of people who just start with their phones and use free editing apps. You don't really need too much to start off a channel. You can use natural daylight and don't worry so much about like people hating on you or who's not going to like your videos because there's going to be plenty of people who are going to love you for you. So just be yourself, have fun with it, talk about the things you're passionate about, and I promise you guys, you're going to find other people who are going to love the same things as you and love you for who you are. Okay, so number 10, this is the last question, you guys. It says, what do you love about YouTube as a whole? I just love that we have this platform where we can share our opinions and our ideas with so many other people. I feel like sometimes we can just get so down, feeling like we're so alone and feeling like that disconnect with people you meet in person. And really, I feel like we just forget the bigger picture. And there are so many people out there for you to connect with and build relationships with. So I just love that we all have a place that we can do that. So yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.